Hello, my great and wonderful dear friends all over the world. You are welcome back. This is MBTV where we preach the gospel of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location. We have another breaking news I would like to share with you this evening, and the news read British High Commissioner to Nigeria confesses and deny being involved with British Armed Forces. But before we go into the details, if it's your first time of coming across this channel, please kindly do us a favor by subscribing to this channel. You will see a bell notification icon. You press it so that each time we upload a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Now, we use the opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are wonderful. Let's go straight to the news. Yes, Katrina Link confesses and also denies being involved with British Armed Forces in Nigeria, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Leng, has debunked rumors that she is supporting and abetting the government of Nigeria to flush out Eastern Security Network, ESN, and also suppressed agitators in the southeast part of Nigeria. Katrina Leng said that she was concerned over the country's deteriorating security situation pledging that the UK government is key on helping Nigeria win its fight against insecurity. We are extremely concerned about the deteriorating situation in Nigeria, security situation in Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria is facing a lot of problems everywhere. In the Northeast, terrorism. In the Northwest, banditry, kidnapping. In the Middle Belt, the farmers' hoarders, conflict. In the South, the North Delta conflict everywhere, and the secession movement in the Southeast. So Nigeria is really struggling, Miss Ling noted. Katrina Leng added that UK government has been helping the Nigerian military in training camps, planning, and how to counter IEDs. Well, we are here to support and the help. We have the military team here who came here after the Dichibok girls were kidnapped. Actually, we are still here, training the Nigerian military, helping them to do campaign planning, how to counter IDEs, explained Mrs. Ling. The British diplomat also urged President Muhammad Buhari government to be more surgical about the support they needed from UK and what the UK can offer. So we are here for the long time. This is a Nigerian partnership. Your insecurity becomes our insecurity. If we don't help you tackle it, so we are here and we are trying to do our best to support you, the envoy stated. Okay, Um. yes, there's something that I would like to touch here, please. This woman said, according to her statement, she said that we have the military team here we came here after the Chibo girls were kidnapped. Actually, we are still here, training Nigerian military army, helping them to do campaign planning. Okay, according to her, the, Niger the British Armed Forces have been here for past, um, let me say, Chibo girls were, I think, 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So if you check from that day, 2014 to that, it's about seven years. According to her, that the British Armed Forces have been here helping so-called Janjaweed Nigerian Army. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. The question now that I'm asking them now, this to show you that these people are lies. The question now I'm asking the British High Commissioner now, according to her, if they have been here since she bought girl, why is this security situation in Nigeria still high? <laughs> So if they are here, they are what power according to the, um, there's no doubt about that, isn't it? British are what powers. So if they are here since 2014, since the Chibot girls were kidnapped, if they could actually they were here, why is the security situation in the north is more high than anywhere? And why is it all this Boko Haram killing, kidnapping still happening? They, why didn't they stop it? So this is to show that she they, she lied a lot. They are lying. British, British gum. This woman lies a lot. You know what I mean? 
This is lie. Because they were not here since 2014. If they were here, they would have stopped Boko Haram and this security situation in Nigeria. They just came in currently now. They just came in just because of ESN. So, one year, Koshe Toashe, Untubumun Nashe. Stop all this lie. You guys were currently here now because of security, because of ESN, nothing else. You are here to support, the, the British are here to support um, the Nigerian army to tackle Eastern Security Network. It's nothing like uh, security in Nigeria. If you claiming that you, Britain, have been, Britain have been here for that long, why wouldn't they stop um, insecurity in Nigeria since, since that time, 2014 up to today? They, they are not stopping it. So let them stop all this, you know, deceive they're trying to bring in Nigeria. We all know why they are here. I'm my Haji, they are here. We all know that. So one year, Koshe Toashe, Untubrungun Nashe, you be right here now, Kono, stop all ESN. And when you so there's nothing else. They were here to stop ESN because the Nigerian government have cried out to them, oh, come and help us. Eastern Security Network are bigger than us. That's why they are here. That's all. So now she's coming out now to debunk the rumors or change the statement. Oh, we are not here to flush out Eastern Security Network or stop um, the agitators in everything. No, it's not what we are here for. What we are here for is to help Nigeria um, fight the insecurity and the, um, the, 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 the current um, problem or security problem that is in, around in, in Nigeria. That's why they are here. But it's not true. That's why I said you were here since 2014. Why didn't you do it a long time ago? So why now? Why is it now? Because ESN is around the corner. So you guys are using that, you know, um, that um, thing to, that um, um, security, whatever, to cover what atrocity you guys are want to commit, commit in Nigeria, in Biafra land, to be precise. That's all. Because the British know, they have said it, that they don't want disintegration of Nigeria. They don't want Nigerian division. They don't want separation of Nigeria. They want Nigeria to stay as one. And that was the why, that was why the question came up. Our leader asked them and people are asking them. If being together is a good thing, it's one of the achievements, that is the biggest thing on earth. Why did Britain decide to leave the EU? That question, they haven't answered it often up to now. That question has not been answered. And you are advising people that are being treated like animals. You want them to stay in a place or at a place where they are being killed, murdered, raped. And to make the, 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 the case, the, this thing more worse, you, you invited Nigerian um, British armed forces into Nigeria to come and flush, flush out Eastern Security Network and tackle them. Because you've seen or they have seen that they are the biggest threat in Nigeria. Yes, ESN are the biggest threat in Nigeria. But Boko Haram are there, terrorizing, killing. Like I said before, isn't it not about two days ago, yesterday, they, 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 they brought down two fighter jets. Nigerian two fighter jet down. So they are still inactive. They are still waxing strong in northern part of Nigeria. Why can't you guys, you, madam, advise them to go there and face that problem? Because Britain, you are world power. Yes, I must admit to that. I'm not trying to lie about that. Yes, but use that energy, that world power you've got to stop Boko Haram if really it's what you guys are in Nigeria for. Why are you going after people that are, that are, that are not harming anybody, harmless people? People that, that are there to protect the lives and properties of their own people in Biafra land. It's the people you are going after. But you've seen the, 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 the kind of insurgency that is happening in Nigeria, in northern part of Nigeria there. If they really, Nigerian government, want you guys to come and tackle security, they would have asked you guys to focus more attention towards that place to stop Boko Haram that has been terrorizing. 
for past five years. But you guys said, according to you, that you've been here since Chibot's girl, which is about past seven years ago. So why didn't you guys stop that up to now? So you are here now to use that excuse to cover. Anyway, this is where I'm going to stop. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comment. Let us know what you think about this. Thank you, and God bless you all. Bye.